Hello everyone, I am Tessellating Hexagons, and look at that, I can actually no longer be imbalanced. Yep, this is even the ocean, and I am Tessellating Hexagons, and this is even the ocean, and I'm Tess Hex, and this is even the ocean, and I am TH, and this is Eto. Uh, so in the last episode, we got to here, the Dream Drum Canyon power plant, and I kind of praised its creativity with its bubble puzzles, because I thought it was just going to be all about the bubbles, and... First of all, Austin on Sugar enlightened me between recordings that fucking bubbles. It was Nostalgia Critic. I was right, I was thinking of the correct thing. So, well, that's a really close save point to the last one. So, yeah, it's not just bubbles here, it's those gaseous things, and also laser beams, which I just remembered existed, and there's downwardsness. Oh. That's not good. If it weren't for the fact that we were in purple gas, I would have just died. Wow! I feel like that- well, that's gonna be really deliberate on the game designer's part, and I- I respect that, because... ha! I'm guessing that was meant to be a set piece, but I still feel like I cocked up big time on the platforming. Like, I could have avoided those pods, but no, I filled up on good times and light energy too much to the point of almost death. Breathe, Tess, breathe! Okay. Oh, Paxton, we meet at last. Where the fresh fuck have you been? Well, all right. A mo a momentary hiccup. You've got yourself locked in a room like this is some proper crystal maze shit up in this his house, and this isn't even his house. It's nobody's house. It's it's a uh, it's it's a power plant. Oh, you're gonna be one of those archetypes, are you? And okay, rude. No, I'm doing these levels in the order that I think is the order of levels. Which makes sense. I should be listening to this witty banter between our, well, ourselves and our comrades here. Comrade. Singular. Are you insulting us because we're new? Oh, you're not even going to be nice about it. Wow. That. Okay, so we know he's trying a bit too hard to be down with the kids by, you know, supporting us. He, he made no secret of that. There's a photo. This is news to me. But still, Paxton, stop being such a salty fuckface. And really? That's it? There isn't a... Oh, I was gonna say, are you gonna take me back to Whiteforge now, even though I've not finished the lenses and the... But see, there's a, a lens right there, and I'm gonna take one with me for the road, and I'm sure I am in no way going to be penalised for this. Well, no, I won't be penalised, but... Really? I would expect them to have, like, a, a pod down here or something to smash this lens on. You know, smash my lens up. Because that's a reference to a thing, except it's not, and it's gonna get popped anyway. Yay! Because we need a vertical one, because this one's gonna go underneath the gas, because somehow it disobeys the laws of physics by going, whoop, outside, just outside of reality, such that we can get it through the gas without it smashing on the gas. Which reminds me. Literally just before I started recording, I heard something described as a very pr what was it? A most profound fart. What what would that be? Like when the cloud of methane somehow holds a vision of the future? Eh? Oh, we have a sidey sue next to a horizonty who. It won't fit. Aleph, don't even try. Sidey Sue and Horizonty Who. Horton hears a Horizonty Who. Oh, I like this puzzle already. It's devious and there are side things and up things and we have to get all the way up here with this lens and then all the way back down with a vertical one and clever level design. One could even go so far as calling it clever. Because it's a clever level. Wow, that, that gas expands upwards. I can, I can absorb that gas by standing above it. Which is not the fault of the game, that's just the hitbox of the gas cloud. Cool beans. I want to recharge on dark energy. Or expend my light energy. Whatever tickles your boat. I love that expression, by the way. So, you know. Anyway, <laughs> just awkward silence for a second. So we have two more lenses, one to the up and one to the down. We'll start with the up because... We're already halfway there. You know, lemon and a pear, lizard on a chair. 
uppy downy ding dong, up and down the ding dong, up with antonyms, down with antonyms, all over the no, all over the nose. At, at this point, I feel like one could argue the case that it's justified for me to to cut out puzzles if I fail them enough times. But that was my first fail, first fuck, first burp. So I shall have n exactly none of that. Ooh, that was slightly more generous with the timings than I was anticipating. I shall take it and run with it quite gladly. Fill me up on the purple, but not too much. We want... <laughs> I, I could make some analogy like, I don't know, like I could call the purple stuff Vimto, but first of all, do you even have Vimto in the America place? So, my American viewers, do you have Vimto? And, well, what sort of thing is the color of this blue stuff, apart from, you know, regular water? Ooh... Now would be a really good time, me, to, you know, not forget which button is jump. No, I went a bit too soon, but you can see my plan there. If I take the lower route, and I sacrifice myself to the great lower gas cloud, then it'll give me slightly more, like, forgiveness time? What do I mean? I'll have slightly more time to deal with the, uh, the upper layer of gas, because... Instead of being in the middle, and only having a narrow window of time where the lens is in the absolute middle, I could just wait till it's all the way at the top, and just charge through like that, and everything is peachy dory. And that's a really deviously positioned pair of pods there. Precariously placed pair of pod? Because you can get all the way through this, like the actual hard part of the puzzle, and everything's fine, but then you get to the end and smash the lens on one of those pods, because, you know, NASA PEOPLE! And now I'm too full in the dark stuff. So pardon me while I soup back up, even though I'm sure once we solve this puzzle and go back to Whiteforge, it'll reset automatically, but just for aesthetic purposes, I would like to be balanced, because that is the theme of this game. Eh. Okay, that's close enough. It's a little bit over as far as the dark side is concerned, but it's good enough. You didn't come to this LP to watch me agonize over the exactly perfect balance of a couple of pixels of fresh funkitude, because that's what energy is measured in. And in case you're wondering, this is a, a PC-based game, but this section is still, like, these sections are completely keyboard controls, like the mouse controls don't even come into it. I wonder if these will ever actually get difficult. I'd be careful what you wish for, am I right? But I mean, heebledee beebledee bee. Mayor Biggs, how are your boobs? Yeah, Paxton threw some major shade at you and then disappeared, so... All's good over here? <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna teleport out if it's all the same to you, Storyteller statue, because I needed to address someone. Oh, good. You know, it's really not that bad if you speak to inanimate objects. It's a lot worse when they reply. And we're back on the world map. Will we ever get to go over there, or is that where we just were? This is the closest thing to blooping we can achieve in this game, and I'm happy. If you're not familiar with blooping, then you should have watched my playthrough of Merciless Undertale, unless you were avoiding spoilers for that, in which case, fair plays to you. There is coldness here. Nothing to say, Aleph, Aleph. I could cut out the trip back, but no, I'm exploring the overworld, and you're exploring it with me. Even though there's nothing of value here. I'm sure if I get too far this way, then she'll just say, Oh no, I need to go back to the place purple dye, as opposed to purple energy. Now what have we here? Oscar Basin? I've heard about this, but we have no reason to come here yet, so... I'm, like... I'm fairly sure that place is going to be story relevant later? It may not be. I know I've seen it during those development streams that I keep talking about. I didn't know how it fit in with the story. I thought it was part of the next area, personally. It may yet be. But for now... We should probably head back to Whiteforge before we get a bit too ahead of ourselves, and these are mountains. Don't mind me just doodling through the mountains. Oh, nice. Well, that says to me that there is something there. Like, I'm expecting her to have had that same reaction if we tried to go to Oscar Basin. So, presumably, just remind me, don't remind me, I'll remind me, to come back there later. But for now, modern-looking bridge, roads! White Forge, Civilization, because that's totally how it's pronounced in every language. Which reminds me that supposedly the Basque word for cold is Hotza. 
I don't speak Basque. I speak more Cheyenne American, like, like Cheyenne Native American than I do Basque, and that's not saying much. Like, the extent of my Basque is I know what ETA stands for, and that's not necessarily something to be proud of, because, you know, terrorists, I don't know, I'm not professional on Spanish politics, I'm not professional on politics full stop. Speaking of, Mayor Biggs, and Paxton is here throwing shade, even though he's not on the screen. Ah, uh, Wadstick Doorhead, how is your door? Oh yeah, and there were those samples we had to collect. And there was a, a space cow, or something. Invasion, now you're jumping to conclusions. Alif Alif, the fantastic bailiff. Here, have a pumpkin. Doorhead. It's not a pumpkin, it's a tissue sample, but yeah. Huh. Okay, so you're condescending enough to be in politics, but you're thinking too well. Because Mayor Biggs, he would want to spread misinformation if it's beneficial to him, or so I would guess with his turd hair. I'm sorry, I cannot unsee that now. I've just looked at the like the that part of his head, and it just looks like a curled up turd. But that, like that's not an insult against the art style. That's just me seeing things that aren't there. Pareidolia, I think it's called, or I don't know how you pronounce it. Or uh, what's the other one? Apophenia. That's a fun word. <laughs> There's an album title if ever I've heard one. And of course, Lopez is still in Boreas Heights. And if, I, I'm guessing if you went to Boreas Heights first, then she'd be here, and Paxton wouldn't be. Maybe she's dead by now. The world may never know. Except we will find out probably in the next episode. In the meantime... No, Paxton. No. <laughs> Go and do some low-level rookie stuff that we're supposed to do. We'll take on the, the senior technician job. It's not a big deal, even though we're a rookie cookie. A uh, cookie ro No. No, these are too many Americanisms coming from my face hole. Anyway. Yeah, I, I don't think there's really much else to see in the city at the moment, unless, unless either something's happened on the terrace, or... Nope, okay, well, I guess we'll just go to the city entrance then. I just want to reiterate how much I love the fact that in order to make a menu confirmation thing in this game, you have to hold down the button, not just press it. Like, how is it that we got to 2016 before someone thought, well, I mean, admittedly, this game has been in development for many years, but how have we reached 2016 and this is, in my experience, the first game that's thought to do that? Anyway, Murex Park. I will do the, uh, the next Junkyard level, but we should probably get some story progress done first. Yara, how are your cabbages? Are you going to appear out of nowhere again? Yeah, there she is. Ghost space. Space ghost. Space toast from nowhere. I'm so glad you asked, because we were going to invite ourselves over anyway. All one of us. Plurals is. Oh, she sits like I sit. Just sort of cat-like. But I, I guess we should probably take this seriously, because we're talking about Cassidy, and Cassidy is dead. Hmm. Do you, like, not have a job? Do you not sell your vegetables? Oh, it's getting too real. It's getting too real! I can relate! I can relate so much! Ah! Ah, we've gone from platforming fun to a little bit of silly nonsense with politics, and now the feels and the reels. The real feels. Oh my god. Yara, were you in a relationship with Cassidy? Because if so, that would be so cute. Well, I mean, apart from the fact that, um... Oh god, you make me make decisions. I mean, you do need a plan for the future, but... If you can't make it through on a day-by-day -day basis, then you're never going to get to the future that you've been planning for. So, ultimately, I would say you need a plan for the future, but I want to be tactful. I should probably... pay closer attention to the... Oh! So those were Cassidy's vegetables. Well, maybe you should get into gardening and then sell the veg, you know? Yeah. Be vegta happy. Pluck them out of the ground. Vegta pull them. Nah. That's a, that's a good way of thinking about it, I suppose. Oh yeah, and also your muffins are on fire. Or, or is it jam? I know you make something that's not food. Well, I mean, it is food, but it's not food. And oh dear, she's having a collapse and oh. It's got too real again. Hmm. Weren't these also muffins? 
Oh. Yeah, this is hitting a little bit too hard, then. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna shut up now, because this is... This is important. I saw this on development stream. This is feels heavy. Prepare your butts. Aleph, take it away. really touching, isn't it? So as I said, I saw this cutscene while it was still in development, and I think it did have the finalised art in it even then, and of course I didn't know the context, and I didn't know when it was in in the game, and so to run into it face first now, that's kind of hit me pretty hard, because it's just this scene, it's too real, but like, again, not criticising the game, because it's good. It just got very real, very suddenly. Oh, Yara. Are you me? Are you me? <laughs> uh, too much soul-bearing going on at once here. Well, that's... That may be that same love, you don't know. Oh, Yara. Why can I recognize these character flaws when they're in someone else but not in myself? Physician, heal thyself. Am I hamming it up too much because I can relate so much and this is kind of wrecking me right now? I know it sounds insincere, but no, this... When I was watching the stream, I, I hardly ever comment on live streams, but I did have to take a moment to say to the developers, yo, this scene is really touching. Congratulations. So, I know I'm a bit of a nuisance, but do make sure that you read this dialogue, and if I'm too distracting, then feel free to go back and mute the audio and, and listen to it again, because... It's... everything's really real all of a sudden. So... Now we know the origin of the title of this game, Even the Ocean. It's a song. So yeah, we're hoping for the best for Yara. We've done what we can for her at the moment. So... Things really aren't good? Now, Aleph, you're jumping to conclusions a bit. Okay, so we've, we've had two witnesses recounting creatures appearing and sending out little spores, but... I mean, 
we don't know for certain that they are attacking, you know? And you, you kind of have, because everything's has ha everything is has happened very suddenly. Although, it's spread out over more days than it seems, because the storyteller is just really fond of skipping ahead. Because he's a kebab like that. So... I would like to call an episode here. Like, I would like to go and do the next tutorial level, but we're at 20 minutes, so... I'm going to head over to the city entrance, and on my way there... I will say that I have been, and will continue to be, tessellating hexagons, and in the next episode, we will take on the next tutorial level, and then from there, head to Boreas Heights and find out what the situation there is. See you then! <laughs>